Okay, here we are, stop three on my uh, expansion plans. Uh, as before, I may have a, a visitor here in a little bit. Um, maybe not, we'll see. Uh, but at any rate, I'm going to uh, continue uh, evaluating these, uh, these hives and borrowing from them to make uh, new colonies. So here we go. I put smoke on them a few minutes ago, so they've had a little bit to be reacting to it. Remove the divider board. Get my hive tool out of the way there. All right, right now my numbering is way off. This one says that what what's in position one says it's frame two. Uh, this one is labeled as frame three, but it's position two. Frame five is in, or the label frame five is in position three. The label for frame six is in position four. 7 is in position 5, 8 is in position 6, 9 is a new frame added last week, and 10 is also a relatively uh, unfinished frame. So, um, let's get to it. So right now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is frame 8, although it's labeled 10. So it's been around for a little while. It's not fully drawn. Um, for a couple of reasons, this might be a really good one to uh, provide food for the new colony. So it's got some honey on this side, empty space on that side. Um, and I would love to see a new colony draw this out because they will draw a, a frame faster, so I'm told, than an established colony. So we'll let that be right away our food frame. And I'm going to put another empty frame next to it. And so that leaves us with just finding a good frame of brood. And I'm snagging on something. There we go. All right. So frame uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, frame seven originally frame 9, it's still new, hasn't been drawn to any significant degree. Um, frame 8, this is one that last year we had a, a comb collapse, I can tell because I've got wax at the bottom, but the, uh, the weight doesn't extend that far. Uh, it's honey, and it looks like that's all there really is. I do think they've, they've either uncapped some cells to eat, or they are storing nectar in some of the cells. I think they're, I think they're uncapping, or, or at least have recently uncapped some of these. So this one's going to stay. I could take it, but I think the other one will be all the food that new little colony will need. All right, so now let's look at frame five, labeled as seven. Now, by the, the reason that I describe the labeling, because I have historical notes about what, what each frame was being used for, and I can kind of see the growth of the colony over time, and I hate to lose that. Now, this one, um, Fully drawn, uh, half honey on both sides, so lots of honey here. And this is almost, I also see some pollen here. I think I've just changed my mind. Um, I'm going to swap that food frame out. I'm going to give them this one. We'll put this one back. All right, the bees are getting a little more antsy, which in my good suit doesn't trouble me too much, but best to keep them calm.
this is a brood frame with lots of pollen and honey on it. So this one would be a great one to take with me. I do not see the queen anywhere. All right, it's not a huge amount of brood, but it's, uh, I think, sufficient for what we're doing. And there's quite a bit of bees on it, which is also something that's important here. These are in place. Oh, here comes my here comes my guest. So I will hold off now until she's able to get here. I met at the other hive just as I was packing things up. Uh, I've even I've forgotten the name. I'll, we'll get introductions here when she arrives. Uh, oh, she found somebody else to come too. So good, good. Uh, we'll have them do introductions. And uh, she looked across the field and saw a white suit and your beekeeper, beekeeper suits draw attention. So I invited her and I think she brought her husband to come see, uh, see this inspection. So I'm just gonna put the lid down for now, uh, let them settle down a bit. And uh, I'll stop the video until they get here.